In this video, we're going to look for the equipment and go through the technique for re-implanting a freshly avulsed tooth. Now let's have a look at the gear we should get for this procedure. Firstly, to anaesthetise the socket. We've got a local anaesthetic ampule, the proprietary syringe it comes with, and a 27 gauge needle. Secondly, the extremely fancy etch and adhesive. One little tube of dental restorative and the proprietary gun it comes with. If there's a number of loose or damaged teeth and you want to make a longer bridge, there's occasionally stock of proprietary orthodontic wire. The plastic hub off a cannula actually makes an excellent bridging material. And just chop the plastic bit off at the base. This makes a lovely bridging material. To dry the tooth in any of the treatment spaces, you can just attach the, the suction tubing to the oxygen outlet or air outlet. Additional items which might be helpful include some dental bolsters, a mirror and a gum retractor. Okay guys, and the last thing we need is the UV pen, which is hidden on the fridge in the eye room. It has three buttons to confuse you, but you only need to press the top button labelled P. A blue light will appear, which you wave over the area with the adhesive and restorative compound for 10 to 20 seconds. We'd re-implant the tooth really regardless of the time since it had fallen out, so long as it wasn't yesterday. If it's the same day, we'll try re-implanting it. Remember, don't re-implant primary tooth. Primary teeth are for the tooth fairy. Give the tooth a gentle wash in saline just to get rid of any macroscopic dirt. First, let's anaesthetize the socket. First injection on the buccal side, putting the needle in right at the top of the sulcus and injecting one to one and a half mils of local anaesthetic. The second injection is on the palatal side, this is just behind the socket, only entering the mucosa by one or two mils and injecting just a small amount of local anaesthetic to see the mucosa blanch. It's quite an uncomfortable injection. When you replace the tooth, remember to get the tooth in the right orientation so that the front of the tooth is facing forwards rather than backwards. Push the tooth in until it aligns nicely with its neighbours. Using the etch and adhesive is a little bit tricky. It's a two-part chemical that needs to be mixed for it to be activated. Squeeze the large compartment into the middle one. Fold it over 90 degrees. Squeeze the middle one into the small one and use the stick just to mix it all up. Dry the teeth so that the glue can be applied. In this case, we're going to use the restorative compound itself as a bridge as the neighbouring teeth are in good condition. Get the etching adhesive material on the pink stick and apply it to the areas where you want the restorative compound to sit. 10 to 20 seconds with the UV pen will cure the adhesive. Get the restorative compound and place it over the areas where you had applied the etch and adhesive. Here we can see it's being placed in the gap between the teeth as it will be what forms the bridge securing the replaced tooth. You can shape it either with your fingers or with an, an implement such as a pair of tweezers. You want to just make sure there are no sharp edges. A further zap with the UV light will set the restorative compound. A finished job. <laughs> When you're making a longer bridge, place the etch adhesive across the replaced tooth and the teeth on either side until you've attached it to a tooth which is clearly firmly anchored. The usual zap with the UV light. Next place the restorative compound over the adhesive. Now comes the fiddly bit, trying to get the bridge to sit nicely in the adhesive. Press it down firmly with your fingers. You might want an assistant at this, at this time just to hold the ends while this is cured. A dot of the restorative compound on top of the bridge will really lock it in place. Smooth it down a bit and again a zap with the UV pen. That 
looks pretty stable now.